Hello, hello, my lovelies. Today, it seems that Brent Rivera has gotten himself in even more trouble after the last thing that we discussed, which I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown in case you guys weren't there for that situation and you're just popping into this video. So without any further ado, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and let's talk about this because Brent Rivera did something that is quite widely known in the YouTube sphere as something that is an unspoken thing that you just don't do. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, roll the intro. Welcome back. Now, for those of you needing a refresher, Brett Rivera is a well-known YouTuber who basically makes content for kids or his demographic is mainly for kids doing things like pranks with his group of friends that are also widely famous as pr pretty much because of association with him. He is kind of widely known for taking people's ideas, taking their content ideas, their thumbnails that sorts of things and he has about 25 million subscribers and he got into a situation with another youtuber called tyler oliviera and these two had accidentally kind of scheduled their youtube videos what they were planning at the same time at the same hotel which is the famous stanley hotel that inspired stephen king to write the shining and while they were at the hotel, Brent, I mean, Trent got surprised by a couple of girls that basically admitted that they were there and being paid by Brent Rivera's crew, and they were dressed like the two girls from The Shining. It all started when I was staying at The Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. What is happening? Who are you people? What do you mean? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent? Last name? Rivera. And this was the catalyst to basically spearhead in a, a bunch of events that resulted in Brent not looking good at all. And Tyler, well, Tyler wasn't, you know, completely innocent in this situation, but I think everyone can agree that Brent and his friends really did come out looking much worse than Tyler did. Like, does it look like Tyler kind of was egging them on a little bit? Yeah. But at the same time, the things that they said were just uncalled for. Like, Tyler being mocked for filming on an iPhone, or Brent, esp or, or Brent especially telling him that good luck with your 100 subscribers, pal. Yeah. Do you fake your videos? No. Can you fake your videos? No. <laughs> oh, God. Brent Rivera's right there. Hey, uh, go have fun with your 100 subscribers, bud. We get that louder. Uh, you don't have even a directional mic on my camera? Hey, we're, we're filming our thing. You yeah. film yours, okay? Yeah, let's yeah. not Let's not be... Okay, that's reasonable. Let's not be disrespectful, okay? Well, you guys are shit talking the iPhone, though. I don't appreciate what? the disrespect. Okay. What, what disrespect? I literally we walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack. Why did you walk up to us, like, enter our space? I've, I've paid $400 a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, but yes, if we were normal here, guests, that would be Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Normal Dude. guests? You think Dude. you're elevated beyond an average human being? I You've ascended the human... Uh, wait, what are you... Do you do wait, who are you? You're harassing our tour. So I start walking to my room, grateful for Brent's mercy. Brent, is that you? It was him. They were all staring at us and filming us on, guess what? An iPhone. Bro, are you recording us? Did you guys film your video? We were so lame. You guys don't use iPhones? We can't afford a real camera. Did you guys finish your video? No. Oh, we're not gonna be able to finish it then. What do you mean? I'm sorry, they're gonna come and get, get you guys. They're gonna kick you out. What do you mean? We paid $375, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not as rich as you, bro. This, this is the third time you harassing us. Stop. Don't harass Whoa, 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 whoa. You recorded me. I'm recording you because you guys are coming up to oh, us okay. every single second of the day. Whoa, we walked in. We're on the same floor. Right, well, he's coming now, so I mean, you guys are just gonna have this... to. Look at the guy behind you. It's like, you... what do you mean? Who is that guy? Why... I have no clue. Listen, this is our personal space, and you're, you're recording inside. No, you closed the door, and then you opened it and whipped out the camera. Really? Because you guys are literally outside of the. No, no, we were on our way to the room. Roll the clip. All right. Right, is that you? 
Well, you guys have about like a minute to finish your video, and then you guys are probably gonna be on your way out of here. Brent, yeah. no! Brent, on my knees, please spare me, Brent. What the fuck is going on? Almighty God, Brent, spare me. I spent 375 on this video. And then his ex-girlfriend, Ava, who, since my last video, I didn't even know that this girl was his ex-girlfriend. And apparently, she said that he wasn't good in bed because he lacked experience? And she called him the worst YouTuber in bed? No! I my worst influencer in bed award goes to... Oh, uh, why'd you look at me, Charlie? I did I swear to God! Um, we know who this answer is. No, we don't. No, Tell me. <laughs> Drink or answer, but I don't want to do it to him. Say it. Wow. If anything, it'll only motivate him to get better. Yeah, he'll be more focused. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Okay. I'm gonna say Brent. Because he lacks experience. That's all it is. That's all it is. And you're still hanging out with him? Or you're still hanging out with her? Do the collaborations really make y'all that much money? I don't know. But they got into this confrontation at the hotel, and Ava was mocking them, who is with Brent on the, in, in this group still, was saying things like, you don't have a directional mic on that camera, and being like, if we were normal guests... Like, basically putting themselves up on these prestigious pedestals, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They put themselves on these really prestigious pedestals. And didn't make themselves look any better. And so, this whole situation blew up, of course, as soon as Tyler posted his video, his side of the story. And of course, you know, as a YouTube community, we're going to talk about stuff when we see stuff like this that just ain't okay, you know? And a lot of people already don't like Brent Rivera. So, of course, this was going to start a shitstorm. And so, with, you know, everybody talking about the situation, well, there was a certain content creator that kind of got on, actually a couple content creators, including Tyler himself, that got on Brent's bad side. And one of the content creators that we are going to be talking about today that has been experiencing and has documented the situation really well is a content creator known by the name of Dumpy. Well, Dumpy is, you know, just like me, kind of just a commentator on the, on the YouTube sphere. And Dumpy has been making videos about Brent Rivera and... He was one of the first people that I seen talk about the situation. He's where I learned about the whole Shining Hotel debacle. His video came up on my recommended. I watched it. That's how I became aware. And so... The thing is, is that Brent is trying to copyright strike Dumpy's videos even though they fall under fair use. And here's where that is wrong to do. Initially, when you copyright strike somebody, that video is getting taken down and that is counting against you when it comes to YouTube. Like, this is something that can get your channel completely wiped from existence. And thankfully, Dumpy didn't have any violations previous to this, but even one can still get your channel taken away. Like, there's a copyright, you know, notification where it just kind of sends the money to who claimed the content. That's, there's a copyright claim and a copyright strike. A strike is what's happening with Dumpy, where a few weeks ago I got copyright claimed for seven seconds of a song from Twilight to make a joke, which, again, fell under fair use because I even put my own background music underneath it. But that was a copyright claim. His is a copyright strike from Brent Rivera, who has been reporting his videos and trying to actively get basically his channel taken down. And so, it started with this tweet here. Dumpy said on Twitter, LOL, it was fun while it lasted. Not gonna concretely say that Brent himself was flagging my shit, but I won't be surprised. And then here he includes the screenshot. And it says, our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our harassment policy. We remove the following content from YouTube. And it says, Brent Rivera, cringe live. 
We know this might be disappointing, but it's important that YouTube is a safe place for all. If content breaks our rules, we remove it. We think if you think you made a mistake, you can appeal it. So that's what Dumpy did. He went ahead and he made himself an appeal. And now there was an update because that's how this started. And then it became, then it escalated to the copyright striking. It says update. Brent Rivera has now begun giving me copyright takedown requests for my fair use content where I criticize his videos. He's claiming that I'm re-uploading them when that is a blatant lie. Please help. And then he tags Moist Critical, Keemstar, and Team YouTube. And then here's another screenshot. And first he says, Brent claims that his entire video was re-uploaded by me. This is false. I use transformative content commentary videos that falls under fair use. I will link them below. And so here's the copyright thing. I'll be putting it up here on the screen. And the first thing says URL of allegedly infringing video will be removed. So that's basically the, rem the removal of his video. Describe the work allegedly infringed. And then Brent Rivera or whoever filed this whole copyright takedown says my youtube video was re-uploaded by another user and then it says where does the content appear the entire video which i've been watching this whole situation unfold mostly through dumpy's videos because dumpy is like one of the first people reporting on this brent rivera guy and which shout out to dumpy for that one for keeping me informed on the whole thing but I watched his content. Everything falls under fair use. He's not using the entire video as one big clip. He's actively taking like five to 10 second clips, pausing it, reacting for at least like two minutes at a time and then going back to the video. And on top of that, there's all these edits on top of Brent's video. It's completely transformative and completely falls under fair use. And one thing, about these copyright strikes and takedowns is you fucking can't lie. You can't freaking lie on these forms. When you sign these things, they even put that if you are falsifying information to get a, get something taken down and therefore causing a strike on someone else's channel, that if you're lying about this, you can be held and your whole channel be removed. No strikes, no nothing. Like if you lie about this, you can actively get your channel taken away. Not to mention the video that Dumpy made or some of the videos that Dumpy made are like the first big videos he's ever gotten. Like these are some of the, big the biggest views that this guy's ever gotten. And making money on YouTube doesn't happen. I mean, I can say for myself, I just got my tax papers from them. And this is my first year being monetized. I've only made like a total of 340 some dollars the whole year. And I've been posting at least every other day, except for the couple times I've had to take breaks. Like making money on YouTube is hard unless you're a big YouTuber. I don't know where the whole thing is that like if you're an, if you're a YouTuber, you're instantly rich. I'm not instantly rich, y'all. Even though that's not the thing I'm after, but like, still, I'm not rich. <laughs> I mean, why do y'all think I have a little tiny microphone that plugs into my phone attached to a back scratch or attached to a broken tripod? I'm not rich. And this was like one of the first big videos that Dumpy ever got. So he made like $2,000 from one, one of these videos. And now because of Brent taking his video down, he's not going to see that money. He's not going to see that money while Brent has 25 million subscribers and is probably making two grand a pop. At least over two grand a video. Like, this just isn't fair in any way, shape, or form. So him claiming that the entire video was stolen is just not, it's just not, it's just not true not true in the slightest so to finish up reading this whole um screenshot here it says describe the work of allegedly infringed and whoever again brent someone on his team said my entire video was re-uploaded by another user and then they say where does the content appear again the entire video which the entire video 
is completely within fair use and thankfully later on we do have a, an update that dumpy got a hold of youtube somehow and they reviewed it manually and they said yeah no we side with you this was completely fair use but at the end of the day this whole thing with the video being taken down screws it in the algorithm and now dumpy's not gonna see that 2k that he was going to be seeing for his first like 1 million viewed video and that's like a really huge milestone to hit on youtube is a video that hits a million views like this should have been like any other normal youtuber beef that we comment on and for dumpy this guy him his 1 million viewed video and now he's essentially screwed out on that because of brent rivera getting his feelings hurt And not to mention the fact that Brett lied on the entire form, saying that the entire video was just re-uploaded, acting like all Dumpy did was download his video and put it on his channel. Like, no. He actively was commenting on the entire video. And... What the hell? Like, you just don't do this to people. And apparently, Brett has done this to Tyler Oliveira himself, who is the guy that he had beef with at the Shining Hotel. Then there's someone else that also is getting shit. It's just... And they're all getting these copyright takedown things, which can lead Brett into a lot of trouble. Which, you know... Like, you just don't do that. And now a whole bunch of people are talking about the situation. Moist Critical himself has made a video about this. Keemstar has talked about this. Everybody is talking about this because it's just such an unspoken rule here on the platform that you don't do that to people. You don't lie just because your feelings get hurt and you go and cry to YouTube and then lie to YouTube and say that they took your whole content and that you want to strike their channel simply because they're saying shit that you don't like you know what i mean it's just not fair and it definitely definitely makes brett look even freaking worse if he didn't already look bad before this just makes him look even worse and personally just to add one thing give dumpy his 2k like if Brett Rivera somehow watches my cringy ass content because apparently i'm just an a little pleb uh, dude, give him his money. If not, give him all the funds from your next two videos. Because that was just bullshit. Okay? Like, I feel like some, some, something needs to be done about that. Because you can't just lie on these forms. Because YouTube essentially says that if you lie on this form, you can have your whole channel just... Thanos. Just Thanos snapped. So, yeah. What are your guys' thoughts about this whole situation? Let me know in the comments below. My socials are in my link tree. So if you go to my channel, you'll find my link tree. You'll find all my socials there. Um, yeah, I love you all so, so much. And I hope you have the best day. Bye.